Hi everybody, back again for the third part of our series on R Markdown. This time we're going to talk about uh, PDF output uh, is, as an alternative to HTML output for an R Markdown document. So uh, let's begin by uh, saying we want to write a little essay um, and we'd like it to eventually become a PDF that we could download off the server and print up uh, for somebody to read as a hard copy. Let's do file, new file, or markdown. But uh, let's ask to make a, a PDF document. And this time, if you do uh, modify, uh, how about, uh, I don't know, uh, my essay shall be the title. And how about author uh, Homer White? Uh, this time I believe it will respect my attempt to set those things. Say OK. And uh, we get a little template for uh, an R Markdown document. The YAML front matter this time is rather simple. Uh, we have the title and author fields and the date. Uh, the major difference is that it says output is PDF document. Uh, and again, we get a sample mix of text and code chunks. And if we were to uh, knit this up this time, oh, there's a point. Uh, it's not going to uh, knit a document until I save it as something. So why don't I save it as like sa.rmd uh, in my home folder. All right, now it's uh, suitable for knitting and it knits up. And uh, we get a pop-up of the uh, PDF file that is produced. And then uh, if you wanted later on, uh, if you needed to get that PDF to somebody, then uh, you could just head to the, where the file is located. So sa.pdf and you can check it. And under more, you could export it and you can actually then download it to your computer and email it or print it out or whatever you need to do. I'll just cancel out of this. Um, if you would like to get an HTML out of the same thing, you could. Uh, instead of just immediately pressing the knit button, uh, press uh, the arrow next to knit and ask to knit to PDF. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, knit to HTML. And then you get a kind of garden variety HTML document, uh, not terribly uh, nicely formatted or anything, just very basic. But it's kind of cool that you can get both outputs out of an R Markdown document. Notice that uh, when you did ask for um, an HTML output, the YAML front matter changed a little bit. If you were to ask for PDF again, then you'll see that you got a little bit of extra there. It, it goes ahead and specifies what to do if you knit to a PDF and what to do if you knit to an HTML. So the YAML front matter is controlling how the output looks. So of course you're free to compose your R Markdown document with the tools that you have learned so far. Um, in, in, but, and then you can simply make the PDF if you wish. One cautionary tale about PDFs is the plots. Uh, in PDFs, they're gonna kind of show up in a floating way. Uh, they may show up pretty far from the text that describes them but there are chunk options that allow you to uh, place the, the images uh, sort of exactly where you want them to be, and you can read about those on the web. That's it for now.